Welcome back to another Rick Review, and today I'm going to take a look at Marty the Robot, which you can find on Gumroad by Lucy, Lucie Martinetto. Not quite sure how to pronounce this. I apologize, as always, for any type of butchering. But you can see all the information there. It is technically zero plus, so a dollar or more. But it's a fantastic rig. I highly recommend that you actually pay more. But of course, you can do whatever you want to. So couple things as you open the rig you have this and this is the robot rig final scene meaning that this is the rig that you can use and you can move it around and so on and so on there is also a different rig called robot render that one gives you mental ray warnings and has a setup of lights like this and you can render this let's bring this up here and this is what you get through arnold renders there are some extra points here i will point that out as i go through the rig these are just uh, these are controllers that you can hide and if just in case if you switch to a software render and you hit this it looks like that the other cool thing is that when you go into the source images you have concept work which is really cool i love that this is included in the rig love seeing all those design explorations it's very cute. I love that little guy too. Environments, props. I love this. Different versions of what the face could do. Very, very cool. I'm a big fan of inclusions of that where you just see more of the uh, process behind it. There is also a script included. If you take this, copy that. And it's a mail script. So if I say go, there are a couple of things that happen there. So you have your display shader which when you activate it, this happens. It's interesting, I'm not quite sure why, but there's an email and you can ask. So if you do an Arnold render again, it will look like this, and you can see kind of how the helmet is matte. And this is me just bringing a dome light. I'm not saying that this is gonna be, you know, your final look, but you can then switch to final shaders. And what happens then is that this turns gray and your renders are going to be slightly different, again, depending on what render are you going to use and what kind of lighting setup. So if you bring in a texture for your lighting, you can see the reflectiveness of that helmet and how this looks in your render view. And switching back to display shaders, again, this happens, but then the helmet is all matte. So I am not familiar enough with the render. So this is something that anybody has more information about. You can comment. I would love to know more, but I'm going to ask via email as well um, what I did wrong or if this is something that just needs updating. But just as a heads up, it comes with materials and all that good stuff. Speaking of good stuff, this rig is absolutely fantastic. I love it. So as you go here, you have a global scale option as I'm going crazy here, which is always good to know. Then as always, why, why not? I'm going to start with the feet. So you have this here, be careful. You will have intersections. So you're going to have to have something like this where you have your limitations there, but you have your controllers here and all of that stuff here. So you see the informations here, you got your foot roll, you got your toes like this, you got your banking. And then again, watch out how far you go. And then you got the twist heel like this and the twist toe, which actually goes up towards the end. It's not just a straight Y rotation there. Uh, and then stretchiness. So if you grab this, it has stretchiness, which then you can change and tweak however you need to. And of course it has options of uh, where you want it to follow, pelvis or world. Then of course you have your pull vector. But the cool thing about that is that you have pin knee. So if you say pin knee on, now it stays put. So if I take this, oh, somewhat put, right? There's always a bit of a, if you flip a roof, you go behind it. But if you have your character where the knee is on the floor, this is fantastic. I wish every rig had some form of knee lock. This is awesome. Behind that, you have the IK FK switch. So I'm going to switch over to FK and you can see here the control is changed, but also behind it, the box changes from FK compared to IK. And then you can select all these and you have your FK legs. And now when you select certain things, do you have stretchiness? Yes, you do. You have stretchiness on the separate controller. So you don't lose that again, which is very, very cool. Let's turn this back to regular IK. 
Then, of course, you have Ben Bowes. Boing, boing. So watch out how far you go with the kneecap there. But you have all kinds of options there for different shapes. You can do whatever you want with craziness and reshaping things. And this goes all the way back down to this as well. Of course, this is on both sides. Then we have your pelvis. This is cool. This actually reminds me of another rig called, I think it was called Melvin. And as I was Googling it on my old site for the Academy, there you go. Look at that. And it had that thing. Hmm, that screenshot is not the best here, but it showed it had kind of the same idea here, but also here. And you can pull this down and it was also a very, very fun rig. But anyway, going back, so we got your pelvis that brings this down and rotates like this. This is all classic good stuff. And then one above, you can pull it like this. You can see you got IK arms, but this is also good to know. And it rotates the whole thing like this. This is going to be your root, classic stuff, moving everything. There's nothing too complicated about this. Then you have this here, and it's interesting because it looks like a hard surface model technically, but you do get cartoony aspects of bendiness and stretchiness. There's no squashing though, but you do have access to all of that. Now, if you look at this, some of these every now and then have scale controls, not here, it was above some of the facial features they do. So watch out for that. All right, let's move over here. You have, if I do this here, I'm gonna grab the arm and move this over and like this. So you have also stretchiness that you can change here, of course. So you have all the follow options here, but it does not have an option of when you do grab this, that the wrist stays aligned with the forearm, which was a bummer. I kind of prefer that. But the cool thing too is here that when you have this, you will see intersections and you can move this. It's not automated, but it's also good to have your own control for that because it's IK, you got your stretchiness here and bendiness everywhere and including all the way up here. And with this, you also have the pin elbow on, which is awesome. And it gives you, of course, options. It will have stretchiness, so watch out for that. But it's always cool to have a pinned elbow. Have that on every rig, please. I love it. And as you go up here, of course, you have, let me select only one, you have the IK FK switch. So classic stuff with FK. Of course, you have all of this. And you also have stretch FK which is all cool. Then we have the fingers. So you have all of your classic controllers on the fingers that you can select and move. But of course, on top here, you have a quick fist, you have a quick spread here and cupping as well. So you got all of your options there for fingers. Looking at this here, no scale on that, just checking. That's it for that. Now we go to the head. So you have your head and you see the extension here with the two, which is awesome. So as you bring this up, you of course have rotations, however you want it. So with this up, let's say you're going to move the root, you're moving this and the head stays put. So what you can do is follow the head. So then this happens. So watch out, of course, how far you go, but well, you're going to have a head lock. And when you do that, it gives you head banks like this left and right, which is interesting. So if you go back to the chest, you don't have it. The only thing that I don't know what it is, and I checked, there is a walkthrough and all the documentations. I don't know what specials are, arrow or square. Even if I do this, I don't see any difference. So I tried to figure it out, but I am limited in my knowledge and I don't see anything in the documentation to uh, give me any type of information of what that is. So if you do know, uh, I would love a comment. So I'm going to move on and we'll keep researching. As always, the pins comment will have any updates if I figure out what that is. Now in here, again, you think this is a hard surface. You do have this. So you have ways to kind of change the rig like this if you so desire. And you can actually see that you do have scale on this as well. Then up here, you have your squash and stretch. Again, things will be missing and it's not going to do exactly what you, you would think of a hard surface model, but it's there just in case. Then back here, you have translate. So just in case you want to push buttons all the way for all kinds of details if needed. And then up here, you have these guys that you can move around. That's for all three of them. So if you check out the antenna, there's nothing you can do in terms of rotates and whatever and scale neither. But 
twist this around. So you have a twisty, you have a curve, and then when you curve, you can move this up and down to change this. So that's kind of the idea. Not everything here rotates, it rotates like that. And you can change your curve, you can change your amplitude, and there's an offset as well. So if you do oh, just a little bit, you can do all kinds of things here. I do wish though that you had a FK or IK version where you can just rotate this manually without that. That's just me, that's just kind of a smaller preference. I'm still really curious about the specials. I know I'm harping on this. Now, here comes the cool thing. So you got your eyes and you can move these around and they are stuck to the helmet, which is cool. They also have a follow, of course. You can't scale these, but once you go there, you have blink and you also have blink scale, which is cool. And you have overall scale. So if we go back, select this again, clumsily. Scale for this, which is cool. That goes in like that, it's cute. Final shape, so you have changes here. And when you select the eyes, you have a heart shape. So you can also scale these in and out. Tweet, tweet, tweet. Which is really cute. Now for the mouth, you have that to move around. You can also scale if you want and you can rotate this. And you have the curve. So let's go, let's go back here. And of course you can change that if you want. And the wavelength, which is kind of interesting. And the offset as well and visibility on off. It's very cool. That being said, if you go show NURBS surfaces, and that's what you need to hide when you render this, you have additional options here to not scale and not rotate, but this is purely there. And it gives you just different ways of tweaking your mouse shape if you really want to or need to. Same thing here, no uh, scale, but you can move this and you can move this down. So in case you want to do a bit more of an angry face, you can do somewhat to some degree. It also depends on the scale. Where is the scale here? So watch out, some of the things will be a bit different obviously as you scale. But again, lots of options to change your eye shapes, lots of detailed options there. And that is under show NURBS surface. And as I go back here, when you have your NURBS surfaces off, so either you turn this on and off with NURBS surfaces, put it on a layer, or you can select the controllers and the plus is this. So turn this off and it will be gone. But when you select the mouth, I don't see it here. So you have all those options, everything, but hiding this is not there. So again, you can put this on a layer, add it there, and then hide it, and then it should not show up in your render. But just as a heads up, you have different options here for the visibility of those controllers. Now you think that we are done here, but no, no, we are not done. So as you go back to this arm, you have the pistol laser and just checking here, it's not there. Okay, just want to double check because it would have been awesome to do it with, with two of them. All right, so we see here, right? We got all the options here, blah, blah, blah. Everything is back to normal. Now, if you go here and you, saw, and you say pistol visibility, yes on this happens so what that gives you when you select this is that you can translate this open right you also have a rotate if you need to there's a translate where this comes out and a scale where this gets bigger dun, 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 dun. so here you have that to move around you have buttons because who doesn't love buttons this is me being weird all right you can take these out as well you have can you scale uh you can scale this i was looking because you can actually scale these guys and you can no you can translate you can translate so you can have stretchy light bulbs if you want to and the crazy town doesn't end you have ways of switching this on and off and you have this too and of course the antenna here that you can just move around like this and don't forget an overall move like that and this one is to take this off just in case you need to but you can rotate and then here revealing the missiles all kinds of things you can do with that and that is 
take this away and shoot. Fantastic. I love it. So cool. Now we can go back here again. Scale. Boop, make it small. And then boop, to go in. So two at the same time. Swoo, swoo, you have that. And that again is the flap. There is no special controller where you can take this off. Or it can, boom, can kind of come off. But I mean, you can technically just take this and duplicate it. If you wanted to modify center pivot. Oh, it's locked. Unlock it. And then you can take this. You have to change the pivot point though. But choo, 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 you could have that come off. Boom. But anyway, that is the gun. Come on. That is an awesome addition. I love it. And of course, if this is IK, it follows the IK arm. It's a very, very cool rig. I love the look of it. I love all of those options that you have, especially with something with all of this here that could be fun and going back to this just in case if you do know what the specials are i will email and uh, hopefully get an answer and then i will post that in the pins comment but sadly i did not figure this out despite my research of the documents that are included so it's not mentioned there marty the robot fantastic i love it this looks just something you just have to animate i wish i had more time but i gotta maybe take the time to just animate this guy because it's just too cute i love this that is me rambling i will leave it at that thank you for watching and if you want to see more rig reviews there is a playlist link in the description for more of that thank you